Hi, I'm David Driscoll with Ilchi Brain Golf, and this video is about swing Qigong. So Qigong is like Tai Chi in that it involves flowing motion while you're balanced and relaxed. This can really help you to make your swing more balanced and natural. So we'll guide you through a couple exercises. You can try it without a club and then later put the club into your hands. Let's get started. For swing Qigong, like putter Qigong and chipping Qigong, you're gonna warm up your hands. First, rub your palms together and make the hands nice and warm. Do this actively. The more you can feel your palms and the warmth there, the easier it's going to be to get the benefit. Try clapping your hands together to stimulate the palms further. Again, rub the palms, feel the heat there, and then try fingertip tapping. Now shake your hands vigorously. Feel the wrists, fingers, all the way to the bones. Slowly stop, make two or three inches between your palms and feel the sensation there. You can let your hands gently move in and out as you breathe and relax your shoulders. Now assume a basic stance, bending the knees and leaning forward from the waist, letting your arms hang down. Breathe in, breathe out, and feel the sensation there. Now begin to turn from the shoulders, left and right, and allow your arms to move naturally. As you do this, maintain the feeling on your palms of energy or magnetism. You can let your body turn a little bit more actively. The arms follow, going up and down. Maintain the sense of awareness in the hands. Your movement shouldn't disrupt your feeling in the hands. Even as you bring the arms higher and turn your body more fully, you want to maintain the sensation in your hands. That means your shoulders and back have to be at least somewhat relaxed. By now, as you move, your hands may be feeling more warmth and heaviness than before. By focusing on that area, more energy will go there. Feel the speed and flow of your body movement as you increase to a full swing left and right. Now once you've made that full turn, you can start to use the club. With the club in your hands, you want to be careful not to lose the sensation that you just had. So even as you turn, make sure you can still feel the hands, maybe the warmth or magnetism there, and slowly move through your golf swing. The key point here is maintaining awareness and balance. Everybody will swing the club slightly differently, but what makes a difference is whether your mind and body are connected and whether you can relax and control the club. So this is a form of hand intelligence. No matter what else you're doing, your hands need to be awake and aware and able to help you with the golf swing. With the club, keep moving comfortably through the swing and focus on your hands. You should start to get a sense of the weight of the club. At some point it may feel like the club and your body are one unit connected through the hands. If you become overly tense, you'll lose the feeling and it'll become more of a mechanical kind of struggle where you're fighting against the club. Go slowly and take your time. And if this is very awkward to you, put the club down and just go back to moving your body without the club, focusing on the hands. I guarantee if you practice this way, when you get out on the course and you tap into the feeling of your hand intelligence, you're going to be able to control the club and stay in rhythm much more easily than before. Great job! Let us know in the comments section how this worked for you and if you had any questions. Practice regularly to increase your sense and you should notice a difference when you're on the course.
Thanks and see you next time.